Hi, my name is Ruth Milner from Daintree Health Products. Um, we are the UK distributor of the Fertizo light therapy devices. We started the business in 2008. At that point we only had professional machines, but now we've got a wider range of smaller machines which are ideally aimed at owners to use. I'm the operational director. I attend events and conferences. My passion is about educating people all about light therapy. So what is light therapy? Our products are using red and infrared light, which has been proven to accelerate healing and provide pain relief uh, for humans and animals. Um, so basically the primary function of red and infrared light is that when a cell has been damaged through injury, age, disease, surgery or whatever, the wavelengths and the appropriate dose will stimulate the mitochondria in the cell which is the powerhouse of the cell basically and by stimulating the mitochondria the cell produces more energy and this starts a cascade of biostimulatory effects in the body increased circulation, increased lymphatic system, so it helps to reduce swelling really quickly. When cells get damaged initially, the inflammation phase kicks in. It is an important part of the healing process, but you need to get inflammation under control really quickly, and this is where red light and infrared light therapy can really help to reduce inflammation very quickly. Um, what kicks in very, very quickly with animals is the analgesic effect. They are very responsive to the pain relief effects. Um, and obviously, you know, if you can reduce the pain and or eliminate pain, then um, the animal is a lot more comfortable and not stressed and can heal. Um, other effects are it increases the immune system on a local level over the site of the injury or wound. And you can also use it over the lymph glands as well, so that will have a systemic effect on the immune system. Using it over lymph glands as well, that stimulates the lymphatic system even more to reduce swelling. If you can get to an injury within four to six hours, that's the window in which cells die. So if you can use phototherapy very quickly, it will actually help to prevent cell death. So it helps to regenerate all sorts of cells, skin, muscles, soft tissue. So as well as being effective on acute new injuries or post-surgical wound sites, you can use it for any kind of chronic condition and it will start the process of the cell activity to repair the damage and, and help generally with the body to heal itself. Um, so it, for that reason, you know, even on chronic wounds it would be highly effective and chronic musculoskeletal conditions as well. For long-term degenerative conditions it will be a highly effective natural pain management tool. The effective wavelength in your red and infrared light spectrums are between 600 and 1000 nanometers and using any specific wavelength within that window will have an effect to varying degrees. We can't guarantee an optimal dose, but the dose in this device is based on the World Association of Laser Therapy recommended guidelines, and it will have a biostimulatory effect in the body. It also incorporates a range of pulsed frequencies, which is based on the nausea frequencies. 30% of the dose are pulse frequencies and then it changes to continuous light but you've got the best of both worlds in the wavelengths that we've incorporated. The red light is 633 nanometers and the infrared light is 850 nanometers for those of you who want to know the exact parameters. There are quite a number of different types of phototherapy devices on the market. You have the expensive laser devices, which are really aimed at the practitioners, but they need to go on quite comprehensive training to be able to calculate the optimal dose. There are a number of devices which are lower cost now and products to use at home. 
and most of these will be not laser but LED, light emitting diodes. They are less expensive, more robust and there's less risk to eyes with LED technology and we've had phenomenal advances in light emitting diode technology over the last decade. So whereas um, in previous years there was a concern that, that light emitting diode phototherapy wasn't powerful enough to create the stimulatory effects in the body, um, that's not the case anymore. The technology has moved on tremendously. So it's a brilliant and a very exciting time for people that want to use this type of modality because it's well proven, it's safe, effective and it puts a healing modality into the hands of a non-practitioner. There's a growing number of professional practitioners getting on board with using phototherapy, i.e. vets, animal therapists, veterinary physios, myotherapists, massage therapists and it's also useful in a hydrotherapy environment as well. One of the advantages of the LED phototherapy is that the practitioners not only use these as part of their treatment process, but they can send these home with an owner to use on a short-term injury that will heal within two to three weeks, or they'll recommend an owner can use it long-term and buy it themselves. It's a very useful tool as well for owners who compete in sports the proactive use on performance dogs to help with muscle recovery post-exercise hasn't been scientifically proven yet, but we're having a lot of anecdotal reports of those that compete in animal sports using it on a regular basis, either prior to training sessions or competing. And especially if the dogs have got any recurrent muscle problems or they get a bit tight and stiff like we all do after exercise, then the phototherapy will really help as a standalone therapy. But it's also very useful to use alongside other manual techniques like massage and physios are using it as part of the rehab process. This dose is designed to apply once per day if your animal has got arthritis and you're doing it over a large hip joint, for example, and you want the stimulation to go that bit deeper, you can repeat the doses in one session. It depends on the size of the dog and the thickness of the coat. But for example, we sponsor one of the most successful husky racing teams in the UK. They didn't know whether it would work because their huskies have a double coat so we just said let's try it and see and they've not looked back since. They repeat doses all around the areas where they know they're getting stiff just two or three minutes on each hip joint for example and the following day they're very well recovered. They can feel the difference in their muscle groups on how soft they are. You can always be assured that you aren't doing any harm. There's no side effects with phototherapy. The body is very clever at only taking on energy where it needs it. With laser devices, you do need training because laser is pinpoint beam. But with this, it's, as you can see, it's not pinpoint beam. It's spread out light. It's incoherent light. So the cells take it on very naturally and just leave the body to do the work. Animals are very in tune with their own bodies and when you are using it where they have got pain they'll actually lean into the treatment. They can be a bit fidgety but once they know that it's helping them a lot of dogs will relax, lay themselves down and just enjoy the relaxing effects that the phototherapy provides. Their breathing will change to nice deep slower breathing. One of the effects that I didn't mention earlier on is that it does increase serotonin. If they're really responsive to this, they will easily fall asleep when you're doing the treatment session. It's lovely to see how they respond. A lot of the therapists are saying when they're going in to see an animal that is in pain and they can't use any manual techniques, they will often use phototherapy over that painful area 
so that the analgesic effect kicks in and it relaxes the animal anyway and then can use some of their manual techniques or go in deeper and do some more intensive work with that area if it needs it. So if you are looking to invest in the Fertizo Vet Care or any other phototherapy device, you don't need permission from your vet, but you must remember it's not a substitute for veterinary advice. So if you've got any concerns about your animal's health or injury, then you must seek veterinary advice. You can use it very safely long term. It's supposed to be a complementary therapy. There's no side effects ever reported, but if you have any concerns about your dog's injury, please seek veterinary advice. Mm -hmm.